What's up guys, Elijah Moko Kandama, and today we got the review on the Dama On Arcade. So this Kanama actually comes out tomorrow, but I had the opportunity to get this early so I could put out a review for you guys so you can decide whether or not you want to pick up this Kanama. Really quick, let's talk about what you get out of the package. In the package, there's going to be a Kanama bag. Inside that bag, obviously the Kanama. You're going to get an extra string, extra bearing, as long as a string help kit thing. Along with that, you're also going to get a couple of stickers, a wristband, and a Dama On pin. Two very unique things for this Kanama is that they provide a business card so you can get other people up to date on Dama On and what they're doing, as well as a raffle card, and they'll do drawings. There's more information on that on the Dama On Facebook, which is going to be linked down below. On that raffle ticket, by the way, they also provide the weights of this Kanama, which is really cool that they go out of their way to do that for you. In terms of the Kanama, it's just a simple construction. We got beach on beach, as well as a sticky paint, and then we got an average string, and we got the bearing in there as well. In terms of design of the can, it's actually very unique, but very simple. We got the Dama on seal right there, cosmetically. In terms of function of the can, though, we got the butthole thing. It's actually more shallow than other companies, which is fine. Still got reduced weight on the base cup, so you can do your lunars and stuff. You can still do your finger spins and all that fun stuff. You also got very nice, sleek ring slip point right here. Uh, very unique shape, and then we also got a very rounded handle stall point. In terms of the Tom design, we got a lot going on, but it's really, really cool. So we got a 70-30 split. On the 30 side, we got a white 30 split with a little pink circle around the hole. And then on the 70 side, we got a green and yellow fade on the Tom, which is cool. And we got a bunch of graphics. We got triangles, circles, squiggles, um, some rectangles and stuff to really give off that arcade 80s vibe, which I really dig a lot. Let's talk about this bevel really quick though. It's really huge, it's about 23 millimeters, but the only thing for that and sacrifice for the stalls being really good is that you have to turn the tumble when you do your lighthouses or lunars because there's a chance that you're gonna hit the hole while you're pulling up for any of those. Just to compare really quick to an average Kanama nowadays, I have a Sweets Boost, and in all the areas except for the base cup, they're pretty much the same. Big cup's the same, small cup is pretty much identical. Um, the base cup, I'm gonna give the edge to the Sweets Boost, even though it's pretty close. Let's talk about the weights real quick so you know what kind of weights I was playing with. We got an 80 gram Tama and a 72 gram Ken, which is not bad at all. I actually really enjoyed the experience. In terms of breaking it in, we got really flat rims on the big cup and then on the base cup. But on the small cup, we have a harsher, more sharp rims. So that's gonna be a little bit more harsh on the paint. Let's talk about this Tama paint. So this Tama paint breaks in really well. The only way you're gonna chip this is around the hole. And maybe if you get it really nicely with a ding on the small cup on the sharp edge, maybe you'll be able to chip it. But I've been slamming this on the concrete and all I got is concrete dings, a couple of cut marks, and this thing is not chipping, which is really cool. Another cool thing about this paint is that it's not really like gross or anything. It's pretty sticky out of the box. And even if you do get it a little bit sweaty, you can just wipe off the sweat and then it'll be sticky again. It plays a lot to my liking in terms of slip and stick ratio. And you'll be able to get assisted in your lunars and all of that with the amount of stick on here, but they won't be sliding off or anything. So let's talk about how this Kanama plays. So I was playing with a six finger string, just so you guys know. It didn't really feel like a six finger string, which is really weird. When I threw my spacewalks, it felt like a spacewalk and it didn't feel like I was trying really hard because normally with longer strings, it kind of sucks. Cupping is nice with the flat rims and all of that. The cup is always gripping all edges of the Tama and that comes from very nice cups and also very nice round Tama. The lighthouses are gonna be fine. Again, the paint really assists with that and there's nothing wrong with the lighthouses or anything like that. With this broken in beach Tama with this really big hole, it's gonna make all your ring stalls, your handle stalls, any kind of stilt bird action is gonna be awesome on this Kendama. There's no worries for that being bad. Gunslingers on this Kendama are really, really great. I was doing a couple gunslinger tricks and it felt really good. Ken flips feel all right. Flipping is kind of weird and I'll go into that in a second. So this Kendama spike length is just a little bit shorter than other Kendamas. That means you really have to wait for that Serato to sit down before you can get optimal lunar balance and optimal flippage. The lunar balance is fine and if you've been kind of familiar with Kendama, you'll be able to compensate for it. In terms of flipping, this is where it's kind of weird. Sometimes I was going to bend down for my J sticks and it would just cop out and I'd be on a line that I was really feeling and it's like, oh, all the momentum's gone. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now though. If this bike was just put down a little bit more, lunars would be ultimate and your flipping and all that would be perfect. With all that said, I would really suggest this for any comp. Since you're not gonna get those lunars right away or those flips as comfortable as you'd like them to be, you'd really have to break in this Kendama. And for comps, you really want a broken in Kendama that you've had a lot of time with. So you're gonna have to work for it, but that's just really gonna help you in competitions. In terms of what kind of competitions, I suggest it for freestyle or open or any kind of ladder thing. This is an all around really, really good Kendama. 
This Kanama is going to come in at $35 for the beach version. This is also going to come in maple for the V2 shape, which is going to be $40. I think this is well worth the price. You're going to get a bunch of extra goodies with the pen and the wristband and the stickers that are really, really cool, as well as this really nicely painted Kanama that is super durable, as well as a really interesting and unique shape, which is going to give you a new experience and it's still going to give you some nostalgia if you're an OG player. That's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching this review. Go subscribe down below, like the video, and share it. It goes a long way for this channel. These are releasing tomorrow, and this might be the last time that you see the V2 shape from Damaon Clothing, so be a part of Damaon's history by copying tomorrow. This is Elijah Marco Kandama, signing out.